Welcome back to the News at 10. Absence of libraries, lack of interest and poverty may have contributed to the decline of reading in Nigeria. And in continuation of our series of reports highlighting the theme of the 2014 Nigerian Economic Summit, Transforming Education Through Partnerships for Global Competitiveness, our correspondent Loretta Chogo x-rays the challenges in developing the reading culture in the country. <music> BC and Bola, the small children live with their mother, Mama B and Auntie Fine Fine. The Reading, a complex interaction between the text and the reader. It shapes the reader's prior knowledge, experiences, attitude and language, culturally and socially. The reading process requires continuous practice, development and refinement. However, in Nigeria, a study reveals that 40% of adult Nigerians never read a non-fiction book from cover to cover after the finished school. During our time, even in the primary school, we were preparing ourselves so that we will face the examinations. That culture has died because people have now gotten a cheaper way of getting at the top, and that is cheating. When we were young, you had two things to occupy your spare time. If you're not doing household chores, you had either sports or the library. But as we began to put emphasis on material acquisition and material mesmerism, boys were dropping out of school and not to talk of girls. The social media were not there before when people developed the habit of, you know, um, not actually wanting to read. It could be that sometimes they don't actually like the material and sometimes maybe the scholars that write these materials have not injected some intellectual things into them for them to be interesting enough for people to read. Nigeria's population is predominantly youth. The Federal Ministry of Youth Development in a 2008 report said young people under 35 years account for about 50% of the country's over 140 million people. The number of children from this figure with poor reading skills are known to receive poor grades at school. Now, if you have a, a country in which the education of the youth is neglected, by, as symbolized by the absence of reading, then the country, the society is doomed. Perhaps the Nigerian Economic Summit Group's focus this year, which seeks to rebuild, revamp and reinforce the education sector for the nation's future, is geared towards building the intellectual fabric of the Nigerian society. But if the issue of inadequate library facility, poor access to books, high cost of the books and other reading materials, and most of all, the lack of interest in reading are not taken care of. Reading culture in Nigeria may continue to nosedive. Loretta Chiogo, Channels Television News. Let's take this further now and be joined on the news at 10 by a writer and director of the Ake Arts and Book Festival, uh, Lola Shunei. Thank you so much for joining us on the News at 10. Thank you for having me. Well, I remember before, I mean, while the report was going on and before, you know, we started the news, there was, we're talking about the problem, really, is not reading. It's, well, the problem is reading, though. But the major problem is what people are reading and the value of what they're reading and what impact it's having on their lives, right? I think that is a, an issue. People tend to think that just uh, by reading textbooks um, or reading textbooks is, up, is, is enough. Mm -hmm. It's all you need and that's all the reading that you require for your personal development. But of course it's much more than that. Um, people should read good fiction which, is, um, which will help them travel in their minds, will um, encourage them to go places. I mean, this is all part of um, a child's development. Yeah, but so. going places in your mind, how does that impact on your education? I'm just saying, because yes, you're reading fictitious books. It sounds more like you're reading for pleasure. Well, let's, if, if, since we're talking about education, we have to uh, first look at um, how 
if people can actually read. And I think this is very important because there is a big difference between studying and actually reading. Mm. Um, and the, the, in, in the first place, people really, a lot of Nigerians, the reasons why they don't do well in their exams is the fact that they can't read. And when you can't read, you can't interpret questions. When you can't read, there's so many doors that are just shut to you mm. on, a, on a daily basis as you are you know, kind of going through life. Well, it's very easy to point out what the problem is, but how do we inspire, well, how do you inspire people to read? I understand that it, it also has to do with the teachers. I mean, if you don't have quality teachers, I mean, you're not even halfway towards solving the problem. You're absolutely right. Um, how much training do our teachers have? Do they have adequate training? Um, how much training are they getting even while they're on the job? You know, these are very important factors. Um, that you, you, it's very, you can't talk about reading and not talk about um, teaching the process of education. They, they, they go hand in hand. Hmm. I'd like to talk further on this, but I guess we have to go. Thank you so much for joining us on the News at 10. Uh, Lola Shining is a writer and also a director of the Ake Arts and Book Festival. Uh, she was discussing education in relation to reading. Next on the News at 10, uh, CAPPLC, makers of Dulux Paints, uh, have unveiled their official colour of the year, 2014. At the unveiling ceremony in Lagos, the company also revealed the new packaging of their products, which is centered on unlocking various potentials. In the boundless ocean of the mind, where we are right now, then you will unlock your potential. Different signposts with various inspirational quotes that support the theme, unlocking your potential. According to the Group Managing Director of UAC Nigeria PLC, Larry Etta, TAP PLC's legacy of setting the pace for the development of the paint industry in Nigeria will be further reinforced. The 2014 Dulux of the Color of the Year portrays the mood of unlocking ideas, unlocking dreams and passions within us. It is a color that has been unanimously picked by color experts as the social, economic, and design force in 2014. Everyone here was given this key. It symbolizes the theme, unlocking your potential. But only one person could unlock this door and unveil the Dulux color of the year. I hereby unlock the 2014 Dulux color of the year. So, there you have it. Teal is the official deluxe color for 2014. It depicts uh, unlocking potentials. Um, the color is in the family of um, green, uh, so it's just telling people that we have potentials in us that we need to unlock. For our consumers, I want to tell them that this is a time to get creative. This is a time to get innovative. This is a time to get inquisitive. This is a time to loosen up themselves and go see what they can do with teal. Musician Ego entertained guests with good music and keeping up with the significance of the event, she helped some to unlock their singing potentials. Well, that takes us to business proper with Adishawa Josh. First Bank, truly the first. Welcome to Business News on the News at 10. The Naira firmed to 164 Naira, 70 Koba to the dollar today at the interbank market. And this follows Friday's close of 164 Naira, 90 Koba, in spite of the ongoing tapering by the U.S. Federal Reserve. However, dealers expect the local currency's volatility to resume this week 
as offshore investors may exit the local bond market to repatriate funds abroad. The Naira has been trading within the 164-165 Naira band against the greenback over the past two weeks, supported by the central bank's interventions and dollar sales by some oil firms. Now, a clean Lagos is the responsibility of both the state government and the residents. This message is coming from members of staff of Sterling Bank, the one customer bank, as they took time to clean Oshodi, a busy commercial area of the Lagos metropolis. The volunteers also made out time to educate residents on proper waste management and methods that engenders a healthy lifestyle. Oshodi in Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria, is known for huge commercial activities. Until the intervention of the state government several years ago, it was a very dirty environment. Don't mistake these uniformed men and women for Lomer officials. They are employees from the one customer bank, Sterling Bank. They have come to contribute to government's effort at keeping this part of the city clean. We find that we need to complement that effort. That's why we are here. We need to do it with the whole of our heart and get the environment clean. Oshodi is a very important place in Lagos State, and so to say, and then the population of this area is high. Walkways, drainages, stairways, rail tracks, and lawns all got the attention of the cleaners. You know, I'm just trying to contribute my own quarter as a sterling back staff. I pass here almost every time and I think it would be a pleasure to come out here to come and clean. They also want members of the public to remember the need for a clean environment. If you watch around the environment, you, you will see that some person's job does been anyhow and all that. That's why we came to help them clean up the environment and equally enlighten them on how to keep the environment clean. Because when your environment is clean, you have a good health. So whatever we are doing, wherever we are, we should try to make that place to be neat. Apart from this social work, Sterling Bank has always partnered the Lagos State Government in the drive for a clean and healthy environment. Enrio Gunjimi, Channel Television News. And now let's take you to the Nigerian stock market where the market closed and the trading ended in the negative territory, sustaining the bearish trend from previous sessions. The All Share Index now stands uh, below the 38,000 psychological line. Loretta Chirgo tells us more. Hello and welcome to Stock Market Report tonight. The bears resumed the week at Nigerian equities market as continued sell pressure pulled the all share index below the 38,000 psychological line. The key benchmark index shed weight further, dipping by 0.74% to 37,888.47 points. The market's capitalization also dipped to 12.17 trillion naira. Investors shaved off 7 naira to cover from total. The stock finished the day's session at 159 naira, 3 cover from an initial opening price of 166 naira, 5 cover. Other value laggards include 40 oil and Unilever. Now, flour mills of Nigeria added 1 naira, 95 cover. That's 2.57% to lead other gainers. For the first trading day of the week, Diamond Bank, FBN Holdings, and Transcor were the three top active stocks. When stocks crossed the finish line, volume came in at 219.70 million units, valued at 2.41 billion naira, and exchanged in over 4,000 deals. And that's the Stock Market Report. I'm Loretta Chiogo. Thank you, Loretta. Or we'll leave you with closing figures from other markets around the world and the news at 10 continues in just a moment.
first bank. Truly the first. Still ahead of the news at 10, Nigeria's female under-17 team, the Flamingos, start their campaign at the FIFA World Cup on a winning note. Do have that in sports news. Do stay with us.